And as Nigerians look forward to the commencement of an intense electioneering activities ahead of the 2023 elections, politicians have been enjoined to ensure their campaigns are issue-based and void of abuses or pull-him-down syndrome. This was the submission of the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Ogun State, Shego Shomi, during a press conference in Lagos. Government is busy. Government is absolutely visionary and that we call on all persons of goodwill to support this cause because whatever happens I can guarantee you this campaign is not going to be about abuses this campaign is not going to be about pulling down this campaign is not going to be about just fighting around and dancing this campaign is going to be about issues when it is time for us to truly start I'm not I'm going to be asking His Excellency the governor the present governor and the holder of the trust of Ogun today, questions that nobody will feel we're trying to just clown about. And I think that even if we do not succeed, assuming it is so, by my being in this race, I feel that would have inspired the next generation of people, would have inspired ourselves, would have shown that the conversation around politics must of necessity be serious. Shomu, who says he looks forward to seeing a cleaner Ogun state, stressed the need for the gateway state to take full advantage of her closeness to Lagos state with a proper re-imaging and re-marketing strategy in order to make the place ready and available for the future. We can't continue like this. The world is moving very fast. Nations are beginning to demand more from city-state concepts. And the earlier we try, the better. And I believe that by the time, and if it is the wish of God Almighty and we win, by the time we would have started, we would have been able to show that this is not an environment that is a basket case. For instance, Ogun is too dirty. Among the dead situation there, when I go to Akwa Ibom, I flip out of excitement because it's so clean. And you wonder, okay, if these people are this clean, why will the egalitarian people that have had education and all of that for so many years not recognize that there's a need for a reorientation around cleanliness? I can't accept that you are going to say you're going to run a subnational economy now without a proper re-imaging and remarketing strategy to make the place ready and available for the future. He also touched on issues of incessant cases of collapsed building describing it as embarrassing. It's going to be a different approach. We're going to demand more from our civil servants so that we can at least, I mean, are we not even embarrassed that we wake up almost every two months, buildings are collapsing? For a nation that has a large number of people who are in the built-up environment for construction, for sur as surveyors, as test engineers, as all of that, the only thing that is wrong with us is that we have insisted that we are not going to deliver any value to the people in terms of governance. We have insisted that we are not going to be responsible in terms of supervision. We have insisted that there will be no consequence for actions. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.